Well, I'm here again on another flipping hot day. Got my dad's TX, and uh, I've just zeroed, zeroed the rifle. Got some footage through the scope cam. Not very good though because it's so bright I can't actually see the camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, since the recce uh, sort of mapped out a little route um, where I saw the rabbits last, I'm just going to stalk around the back and see if I can ambush them. So yeah, oh yeah, and as you'll notice, this is the same old camera as I was using before because in my video yesterday I showed you my new HD Fancy Dan Samsung. Well, that's a piece of junk and it's faulty, so that's gone back. Um, so I'll probably just save for a full HD Sony Handycam or something like that. <sighs> Let's get to it. I've spotted a rabbit and I've lazed it and it's 50 yards away. So I'm just trying to stalk in a little closer. I'll look through the scope just to make sure he's still there. As I'm stalking in, I keep checking to make sure the rabbit's still there, and then I see some movement to my left, and there's another one sat there, 30 yards away. He's hit hard and goes tumbling into the undergrowth. Well, it wasn't a very shot on that on that rabbit. Um, not sure what happened, uh, but I think the pellet hit a little low. Hit it in the uh, lungs or something like that. As you can see, it's just there. Um, but all you've got to do is just keep calm and uh, just get a clean follow-up shot because you really do not want the animal suffering longer than it has to. Luckily I managed to catch up with this one before it uh, disappeared and I managed to put it out of its misery. Close call but that happens in hunting. It's just about the way you deal with it. Just retrieving it now from this undergrowth. Through there. Nettles and everything. Get him out and have a look. And there it is. Quite a nicely grown rabbit. Really good size. Good meat on that. Have him in the slow cooker probably. Well, I only got the one. But that's one less that's going to be digging up the landowner's fields. A spot of woody, and it is over on some wires over there. So, what I'm going to do is stalk around to the corner of my grandma's house and then lean off the house and try and take the shot. Let's hope we get him. This is where it helps to be left handed. Yep, he's still there. range with the laser and it's 40 yards. So I put my laser down and get myself into a comfortable shooting position.
I've zoomed it out now. Stood up. Um, that was a lazed 40 yard woody sitting on them wires. Just turn the camera around. Um, unfortunately, it's blowing a fairly strong left to right wind, and I hit it. I think I must have hit it in the neck. Fatal shot. And I just saw it, as you'll see in the video, lifted its wing up, and I think it got a bit of uh, wind underneath it. It dropped into the maize field, which is a real shame, so I won't be able to have that for my barbecue tonight. Um, impressive shot though, required two and a half mil dots of holdover on eight magnification, that was for, again, 40 yards. But I didn't manage to get anything else. So yeah.